no longer the CEO of RDB. Rather, since December last year, September. September, yes. Mm-hmm. Sorry, uh, you were named um, the CEO of the NBA. Oh, from December, yes. Yeah, it was <laughs> from this. Uh, I thought December. RDB. RDB left no, in no, September. No. <laughs> okay. Yes, it was December twenty uh, seventh. That's yes. uh, so that that's when you were announced. Uh, so it's been close to half a year mm-hmm. uh, since then. I'd like to talk to you. I'd like to ask you about your experience so far. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been close to six months, um, and I'm sure you've ingested a lot of information. Mm-hmm. Um, what's that experience been like? And <clears throat> in a context of the work that you had done previously as CEO mm-hmm. of RDB. Um, how do you compare those two? Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Sunny, for having me back here. Mm. Uh, you're right. The last time I was here, we were talking about football. Mm. Uh, and we're still in the sports sectors. So at least we've been consistent. Yes. <laughs> but still in, this, in the sports sector. So I have been with the NBA since end of January. Mm. And uh, it's been such a learning uh, curve but a very exciting energy uh, that I am seeing in the sports sector. Mm. Obviously, uh, coming from RDB and from Rada, my role in the sports sector has been very much around using sports Mm. for country branding, but also for promoting tourism in the country, hosting events, and all of that in turn contributing to job creation for the country and also creating investments for the country, Mm. and in turn contributing significantly to economic development. So that has been the angle that I have uh, interacted with, uh, with the sports sector. And so here, it's uh, really about growing the business of NBA mm-hmm. on the African continent. And so um, I've spent the last couple of months really understanding the business, mm-hmm. learning a lot, have wonderful colleagues in New York, all over the world, here in Africa, that have really been part of supporting me uh, to really get to up to speed with the business. But I think what I still see that is very consistent with what I knew when I was at RDBM, mm-hmm is that basketball in particular, just like other sports, is a sector that countries should seriously prioritize Mm. as a tool for economic development. And that's why it makes sense for NBA to invest in Africa. If Mm. you look at the fundamentals of the African continent over a long term, it's still this strong continent that you should think about in the long term. One, economic growth rate. 20 of the fastest growing countries in the world are from Africa. Mm. It's a young uh, population, average median age of 19.9. If you're talking about sports and funds and talent, you're talking about the youth. And this is the country where the youth, the continent where the youth is. And so when I look at those fundamentals and I look at how sports can contribute before looking at attracting sports in the country, and now it's really investing as a sports entity, it's very exciting. I just can't wait to see the impact that NBA continues to have on the continent because we're already seeing it growing. And I just think that... Um, it's going to play a very big role in uh, contributing to the continent's economic development. And I'm just so excited mm. to, as I settle down, as I get to understand the business, I'm just so excited that uh, about being part of the story that demonstrates that sports is actually uh, mm. very good for job creation and economic development in the continent. Mm. I'm hearing all that, but I know you a little bit. Mm-hmm. I've known each other for a long time. Don't you just sometimes wake up and, you know, you're... you're basketball, 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 and think back to the time you were uh, the CEO of RDB. Mm -hmm. One day it would would be basketball, the next day it would be uh, oil and gas, the next day it would be uh, Mm -hmm. service uh, providing, and the Mm -hmm. next day it would be registering companies. Don't you miss sometimes the the diversity of challenges that Mm -hmm. came with your role Mm -hmm. as uh, RDB CEO? It's true that I, I, before in my previous role, I was looking at all sectors, and mm. now I'm looking at the sports sector. But it's interesting because basketball is beyond basketball. Mm, tell me more. Basketball is actually an ecosystem. Mm. First of all, basketball is a media business. We're the business of broadcasting, mm. distributing media. So it's very much about understanding the media distribution. So that's a big part of what I'm also really mm. uh, getting up to speed with. We are also in merchandising, you know, pro- producing products and distributing products. Mm. That is related to basketball, but that's also a whole, you know, logistics infrastructure and also licensing infrastructure that is part of the basketball ecosystem. Now, when we bring games, and very exciting that we ha- we're here because of BAL, mm. uh, kick, uh, starting on, on, on Friday. Mm. Again, what's exciting about that is that when you bring Basketball Africa League here, the hotels are full. 
transport companies are busy. Restaurants, I saw, I saw a flyer from Boho mm. that is doing something completely different mm. from the official program of BAL. They're doing a program that they want people to go there for BAL. Mm. I saw that Gov uh, is also thinking about something around BAL. Mm. And so it's a, it's, it's, it goes way beyond basketball. And that's the beauty that I really like um, mm. about basketball, that it's just more than basketball, but it has the power to transform communities using basketball as their angle. Mm.